We are advanced imaging. We are state-of-the-art technology. We are accredited. We are here. We are faith. Coach Danny Henson, your Bulls are in great shape now, moving into the playoffs. Uh, all that game Friday night uh, against uh, Lake Worth uh, started a little, uh, a little rough. Uh, they pulled some tricks out, scored early. What are you thinking at that point? Well, they did. They pulled off a really good onside kick. Kicker uh, kicked a perfect kick. Uh, they were able to recover it. And then on the first play of the game, pulled off a really good trick play. Scored uh, to get us down 7 nothing. Our, our offense did a good drive on the first uh, series, but uh, stalled out down by their end of the field. Uh, and, you know, before we look around, we were, we were down. So uh, we had to come back, uh, but we did really well in the second quarter and, and put the game in, 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 in uh, you know, pretty good hands there by halftime. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, I mean, all elements of the game uh, were, were clicking um, on the offense, on the defense. Uh, uh, Trent had another great night. Uh, Gabe had another great night. Uh, so things were clicking, and you got to feel pretty good now as you move into uh, your first playoff game. Yeah, we wanted to come out and have a good night against Lake Worth. Uh, we just came off of a bye week, you know, and sometimes you're a little rusty coming off of that. So we want to make sure that uh, we got that kind of shaken off. But we wanted to finish that game in strong fashion, and I think we did. Set up uh, Friday night now. Where do you go, and um, uh, who are you up against? We'll be playing Glen Rose in the bi-district round. Uh, that game will be played Friday night, 7.30 uh, at Alito High School. Uh, we're going to be the visitors uh, in that game. Uh, that'll be a great game. We, we faced each other back in week zero. Uh, I think it was 106 degrees that day, actually, uh, and had a great game. Went down to the wire. We were actually behind in the fourth quarter, had to come from behind, but uh, came on with, uh, with really good uh, fourth quarter and went, won the game. This one ought to be a very exciting, very close game. It ought to be a great matchup, and we look forward to that one. This actually is our last uh, Coach's Corner report for the season. We've really enjoyed it once again. So, though your season's not over by any stretch, uh, give us an assessment of, uh, of, of your season uh, with, with the Bulls. Well, first of all, it's been successful. You know, we, we, you'd love to win them all, but you have to look back and be realistic about what happened. Uh, we lost three games this year. All three teams that beat us were district champions. Uh, two of those three were 10-0 and this year. Uh, and actually, the other one got beat by two teams that were 10 and 0. So, and you still and you still ended up uh, what 3-1 in district play. Yes, in district play, you know, we finished up 3-1. We locked have won the district championship. That that you know fell a little bit short, but but overall, you look back on the season. We had a really good season. We're where we need to where we wanted to be all along in the playoffs, and now we'll see how that plays itself out. Terrific. Uh, again, thanks for a great season. We've enjoyed it, uh, Coach. Let's talk to one of your players. Sure. A couple of standout players from that great game on Friday night against Lake Worth. We want to visit with them, introduce them. Uh, both these players are senior players on our offensive side of the ball, and both of them had good games not only Friday night, but they've had really good games all throughout the season. Uh, standing next to you is Sebastian Esquivel. Uh, Sebastian plays uh, our right guard position in the offensive line, and standing next to me uh, is Garrett Mullins. Garrett's one of our outside receivers, and uh, both players have had outstanding seasons. Terrific. We'll spend a couple minutes uh, visiting with these guys. Big O, and there was a lot of offense going on on uh, on Friday night. What was it like down there on the line? Well, you know, it's uh, it's a lot of blocking, a lot of holes made. You know, that's pretty to, much the name of the game, isn't it? Yeah, just trying to get the pockets for the quarterbacks and just making holes, getting Garrett's the balls. Yeah, that's pretty much all it is. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, assess that game on Friday night from your perspective. Uh, I thought we did really good. Um, Coming into that game, we thought we had to win it uh, before that week had gone to it because we get to get into the playoffs. But uh, seeing how Castleberry beat them, I thought we were going to have big heads and overlook them, but we didn't at all. So I think we did. What are you thinking, guys, when uh, the Bullfrogs pull off a couple trick plays early on, get on the board so quick? That kind of kind of made me a little <laughs> mad. You know, I, I kind of want to go out there and just punch them in the face. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you know. so it, really, it actually backfired on them. What goes through, what goes through your mind? Um, see, I mean, coming out there just that quick, they got those two touchdowns that quick. Like shock and awe. Yeah, it just, it just hit us quick. We didn't know what happened. But after we got our heads back on our shoulders, we got, got to him and took it to him. Big game coming up. Uh, uh, Glen Rose, isn't it, on Friday night? How do you guys prepare for that? Well, you just go out every week like you do. and uh, Nothing much different. Now just go through your techniques, work on everything you can have for the whole year. Yeah. This uh, was a chatting with Coach uh, a little bit earlier. 
Uh, you played these guys earlier in the season. I think it was 106, 107 degrees, something like that. At least we got football weather now. Yeah, it was hot. It was really hot. Uh, you know, how, how do you prepare? Any differently? No, sir, not at all. Just same pre uh, preparation every week, just going through practice, doing the drills. Yeah. Football in you guys' futures, a couple of seniors here. Are you thinking about uh, perhaps football beyond? Yeah, I like to, but it's always a kind of like a 50-50 chance. I understand that. How about you? Yes, sir. I mean, I would love to play football in college. Just whoever wants to take me, I'll go. You eyeing any specific schools right now? Uh, no, not really. Just kind of keep my eye out right now. Well, listen, best of luck to you. Uh, big game uh, coming up Friday night as you move forward. Good luck. Thank you.